head of uh, product development and marketing for Life Biology at Carolina Biological Supply Company. My group is working today in what we call the crossing plot. We grow various varieties of corn here and we do controlled pollinations. This corn is used at the high school and college level for teaching basic uh, Mendelian genetics and we are the only North American company that is growing genetic corn for the educational market. When you're producing an ear of corn to be used to teach Mendelian genetics in the classroom, the phenotypes are easily recognizable on the kernels attached to the ear, be it color or texture or even chemical makeup. For instance, we have a variety that produces a yellow kernel and a variety that produces a purple kernel. So we cross these two varieties and when we do, the re resulting kernels are all purple, showing that the uh, purple characteristic is dominant. Next season, we will plant these seeds out into a field and allow them to freely cross-pollinate with one another. We will find that the yellow characteristic reappears and that the ratio of purple to yellow kernels is approximately three to one. This demonstrates how a characteristic is inherited through two generations of plants. Okay, we have our bag marked and we're going to come over. This is a tassel of a corn plant, sometimes referred to as the male flower, and it is the part of the plant that produces the pollen. And we're going to collect the pollen by putting the tassel inside our bag, tapping it a few times to release the pollen. I want to keep the mouth of the bag pointing downward so that pollen in the air is unlikely to drift into it. Now we come over to the plant that we're going to pollinate and we find a developing ear that's silked out. This is the female part of the plant. We've got it out from under the other tassels. We pause to give any pollen in the air a chance to clear out. We remove the bag. We dust the silks with pollen and then we pull the bag down over the developing ear so that no stray pollen gets onto it. Staple the bag in place. Check to make certain it's loose on the stalk and can move up and down a little bit. Check below to make sure there's no ear that would develop below it and our pollination is complete. Uh, Dr. Kenneth Perkins, a uh, retired employee of Carolina Biological Supply Company, was the one who began growing genetic corn for Carolina. Originally, he had this produced by a college professor at the University of Virginia. And as the demand for the corn grew, production of it was brought here to Carolina Biological and Dr. Perkins spent many years improving the strains that we had. Uh, these strains came from various universities and were perfected here at Carolina. Where a lot of companies do hand pollinating of corn and hand crossing of corn, Carolina is the only company that the ultimate goal is to produce an ear that can be used for teaching Mendelian genetics in the classroom. It's particularly easy to study, uh, it's easy to recognize the phenotypes in the seeds, and it's something that a teacher can use in the classroom from one year to the next.